Tried to speak up since it's raining, it's a little bit loud. Uh, I am a little nervous. I have to follow Zach's vows that he wrote. Um, I think every one of us probably shed a little bit of a tear when he read that. Uh, it's a side of him that I hadn't seen before. So that's a hard act to follow. But I'm going to start <coughs> when uh, Zach and I first met 22 years ago um, at Lake Cumberland Regional Hospital. Uh, you know, for four years I had worked my way up the totem pole to get to the top to be the favorite child and that quickly came crashing down. Zach, Zach was born uh, and I was the one left sitting in the cold uh, waiting room with no shoes on. I was the afterthought to the golden child that was born that night. Uh, <laughs> Mom and Dad may deny this claim, but we can also ask them to attest to who was the one that had no shoes on, socks only. Not to mention that Zach was the planned child while I may have came unexpectedly. So, Zach, Zach to uh, say the least, ha has had somewhat of a rough life. He, he grew up with not one older brother, but two. Uh, Kelby standing here to the side uh, was always around. It was like another brother to me and him. And uh, to go down the list of things that we probably tormented Zach with, and done to him would take a lot longer than the 10 minutes I've been given tonight according to the schedule. And so we'll not go that far, but Zach can think of a lot of them and I, I could go on and on. Um, Zach's never been much of a troublemaker. He's been a good kid. I think even his friends will say that. Um, and even the few times Zach may have broke the rules, he never got the blame for it. Um, once, this is just one instance that comes to mind. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh, not too long back, Dad and I and Mom, we were sitting at the house, and, and Jenny may have been there too, I don't know. And the subject came up about some road signs that were found in the back of Zach's truck. And I made the comment, I said, yeah, Zach, Zach stole those a long time ago. They've been back there for years. Uh, I was quickly reminded by my mother that no, Zach wouldn't do that. Um, Zach wouldn't do that, he didn't do that, and that must have been me or someone else that put those there. So, just another example of, of what I'm speaking to. Um, from a young age, we also found out that Zach was the smart one in the family. Um, I brought home my textbooks to do my homework, and Zach always picked them up and liked to read them and, and take part in that as well. He even skipped first grade. And so at this time, I would like to take a little bit of credit for Zach's success in his life because I did lay the foundation, um, pave the way for the road that he's on today. So I would like to get a little bit of credit for that. Um, the second part of this uh, is going to go to Lindsay, and Lindsay's is... A lot, more, a lot more serious than Zach's. Um, Lindsay, it takes a special person to, to love Zach, and that, that's what you truly are. Um, you know, I'll never forget the first time that we met Zach at Nick, met you at Zach and Nick's apartment. I think Kelby was with us, Jenny was with us, and we come over there, and you can probably remember that time, and we'll, we'll probably not discuss the thoughts that went through your mind, because I know we were probably a lot for you to take in all at once. Um, you truly are Zach's better half. You fit right in with our family. Um, you help Zach in a lot of different ways. You help him with his navigation skills that we all know he's not very good at. Um, you also call Zach out on all his quirky things that he does, much like the rest of us, and that, that won me over from the start. Um, you know, you, you're no longer, uh, on a serious note, Lindsay, you're no longer um, just a friend. You are a, uh, you're a sister that I'm thankful that Zach has found and someone as great as you are. So, you know, I want to take this time and welcome you into our family. I consider you a sister of mine and one of my good friends. And, you know, we appreciate you and we truly love you, um, every one of us. You know, but before I wrap this up, let me, uh, I will be serious again for a moment. You know, let me just say how proud I am of Zach. Um, you know, we, you've been uh, my best friend since birth. You've always, you know, followed your dreams and fulfilled the dreams in your life. and. You know, I, I can step back and appreciate that. You know, you've always said you're going to do something and you put your mind to it and you've done it. Um, you're an example um, of a good Christian man that, you know, a lot of us should take a step back and strive to be like. Um, I think we all see just how um, truly you, or how much you truly love Lindsay um, in your vows that you wrote today. And, you know, I think all of us can take that and apply that to our lives um, in, in our future endeavors with our wives, with our fiancés, with our girlfriends, whatever it is. Um, we can only hope to have a love like that, like your all's. Um, you know, I was honored to be able to be there in your all's uh, in, in part of your proposal back a couple years ago. Um, I knew kind of how some of that was going to go down, even though I was a little surprised how it happened because that kind of hit me up. I was like, I'm going to do it right now. 
And I was like, okay, go ahead. Um, but I'm honored to stand beside you today as your best man and as your brother, and I appreciate it, and we truly love both of you from the bottom of our hearts.